Hey, hey, what's up guys? So today we have another awesome product by Tough Skins. So these are grill overlays. Now, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, you know that I have a lot of Tough Skin stuff on the vehicle. I have my TRD inserts down there, and then inside the cab, we also did some inserts uh, for the cup holders and stuff as well for some protection. Tough Skins is this awesome company. They have overlays for all sorts of Toyotas, the 4Runner, Tacoma, FJ, Tundra. They have stuff for Fords, the Raptor, Super Duty, everything from inserts to protections to uh, the Heritage Grill up here on the 4Runner, Super Duty on the back of Ford Super Duties, like all these inserts, black letterings for Tacoma, Tundra, all that stuff. So definitely check them out. I'll leave everything down in the description for them so you guys can see them, their Instagram and website. So basically what these are right here is these are just some overlays that are going to go over any of your guys' grills that have the Heritage badging like this. So they have some for the Tundra, Tacoma, and FJ Cruiser and obviously the 4Runner. So I'm trying to get my color. I was debating back and forth on red and carbon fiber. So I actually got carbon fiber. We'll open this up in a second so you guys can actually see it. But then I was gonna plasti dip my letters black so I could have a nice black finish with this on the front. So I plasti dipped it black and then I was like, ah, but if people don't want it plasti dipped and black and they don't wanna do that and they wanna have this kind of gray look to it, then I kind of defeated the purpose of that. So I ripped the Plasti Dip off and uh, just decided to just install it for you guys so you guys could see how it naturally looks. So here it is all wrapped up. Uh, it does come with instructions, basically, you know, clean the area, soap and water, and then if you want, you could use 50-50 uh, alcohol to water concentrate and then uh, clean up the area, obviously. You want to have no wax on the area and uh, Definitely make sure that it's kind of warm out. You know, if you guys are installing this in the winter time, you may want to use a hair dryer. Definitely not heat gun though, because you don't want to melt it. So here you go. You have the carbon fiber. Looks really, really good. And like I said, I was debating between red and carbon fiber, but they have a whole bunch of colors. They have, uh, they don't have cavalry, or I kind of think I would have went with that. But uh, they have quicksand, cement, inferno color, uh, carbon fibers, two styles of carbon fiber, red, uh, darker blue, a whole bunch of colors, guys. So we'll go ahead and pull one off. And again, you have that nice uh, 3M material on the back. And then this is a kind of shiny material, as you can see right there. So it's not soft or anything like that, like the uh, inserts were. And it's actually real carbon fiber, too. So let's go ahead and get these installed. Super easy, just peel it back and place it on. All right, so my area is all clean. Just gonna peel it off. And then you just wanna line it up. Make sure that you line it up nice and good. Now you may also wanna plasti dip it if you don't wanna put these onto uh, your actual vehicle, but if you decide to take it off, I would probably uh, recommend heating it up first. That way it peels off of the plastic material better. But there it is on for the tea. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually glad that I didn't Plasti Dip it. Because looking at the letters, I thought it was just gonna cover up the whole thing. But each letter is kind of beveled in. So this fits perfectly onto the top of the letter. So I actually like seeing some of the original color there. Let's go ahead and put the rest of the letters on. Just line it up kind of with the outside. Just stick it on. And of course I'll update you guys if you're subscribed to the channel over time of how these things hold up with uh, power washes and stuff and typical rain. It's just like doing the skid plate down at the bottom. Super easy, the lettering just morphs to it for you. All you have to do is just make sure you press down the adhesive really well and this stuff is on there. And just like that guys, it's on. Now this probably only took maybe a minute or two. Uh, to be completely honest, the A was kind of the harder one to do because I wanted to make sure that I lined it up all in here perfectly. Uh, so I was able to move it around a little bit. I actually did peel it off uh, once and lined it up with this outer border right here. And man, it was, it was freaking stuck on there, but it didn't peel anything back. So like I said, if in the future you wanna change the color or just take them off, something like that, just heat them up really good, get a little plastic tool behind here and just uh, peel them off to avoid peeling the paint off of these uh, kind of cheap Toyota plastic uh, emblems. 
But I'm super freaking glad that I took the Plasti Dip off because I actually like this gray color right there. I think it looks super, super good with the carbon fiber. Look at that. That's freaking sweet. So again, huge, huge, huge thank you to Tuscans for sending this stuff out, guys. Their products are freaking awesome. I'm not saying this at all because they sent me the product to review. I'm saying it because their stuff is freaking awesome. The skid plate down here has gone through a couple power washes, still freaking perfect. This stuff up here will definitely be the true test because this is literally taking wind every day, rain every day, dirt on the trails and stuff will potentially get back up behind here. So this is gonna be a true test to see how great their product is, but. So yeah, guys, if this video was helpful for you all and you like the product, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more Toyota stuff and 4Runner stuff, and I'll catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.